Hi guys, welcome back for part 5 of my camper makeover on a budget. In my previous videos you saw how we purchased this 1976 camper trailer, stripped it right down to repair a lot of water damage, then proceeded to make it a little more comfortable. So now let's jump back in and continue where we left off. Here I'm using leftover flooring to make a nice little countertop on top of the fridge and closing it in with leftover pieces of paneling. Well, it's been about uh, two months since I started this project and actually in the last two weeks I've done next to nothing other than design the bed bench area which I actually built in the last two days. So that is ready but before I put it in uh, there's clearance issues with the bolts. I have to build the bed first so that I can bolt the bed on before I put it against the wall just because it's too tight to get the bolts in after. So I'm going to jump on the bed right now. So first I built a simple frame for the bed out of wood and added a sheet of plywood to the bottom. I then added a few extra supports to help spread the weight to the legs that will be installed later. So here I carefully maneuver the wooden bed frame onto the metal bed support slash bench. And then I bolt it in place. And now I need to jack the bed up a bit to add some spacers below and bolt the support down to the trailer frame. Here I carefully test the bed to see if it'll support my weight. There are still no legs installed, so I'm using a chair temporarily to support the far end of the bed. I'm pretty satisfied with it at this point. And now a coat of dark grey paint. Finally I'm installing the folding legs for the edge of the bed. and another test to see how it supports my weight. So far, so good. Now let's get the mattress in place. And I think I'll take a little break. With the bed finished, let's add some wood to the folding bench and screw the boards in place. And now a quick sanding and a light coat of stain to give it some color. Okay, so that bed is working all right. Quite happy with that as usual. Um, now I think what I'm gonna do is uh, install some of these screens here. These were uh, screens that came with the camper. They were just folded up in the, uh, in the little closet. So they're already cut to size for some of the windows. So I'll put up what's here and buy more if I need to. Even replace these later on. But for now, I'll, I'll get those up. Then I can put the trim around the windows and then we can maybe install some curtains. So we'll see how that goes.
Here I'm adding the trim around the windows. And while I'm at it, I'm putting on the TV wall mount. Okay, so I've got most of those window frames on, on the front side of the camper. And you notice that I just installed this little bracket. Well, I picked up this little TV at, well I say little, it's old, so it's a little bit bigger for a flat screen TV, but got this for 20 bucks in an auction. So I thought this might be handy to put the Roku on or something else. Uh, maybe watch some TV on Wi-Fi if we're at a shitty rainy campground. So let's uh, put that up and see how it looks. And test fitting the TV. Okay, that's not too bad. We'll see what that's like. Yeah, I think that's a good height, good spot. So that should be uh, pretty entertaining. There's actually a DVD player built in, but uh, for some reason it doesn't work. I took it apart and tried to uh, get it going, but that didn't work. But we could always get a little separate DVD player to watch uh, movies. Now that the windows are all framed, let's paint them to match the walls. Okay, so next in the project, I'm looking to install the curtains. And I mentioned before that I teamed up with a fellow YouTuber, Catherine Harris at Sheer Stitchery, to get the curtains made. And I received my package, and this came with a nice uh, uh, craft paper covering that I tore off without even realizing she had a nice logo on it. And I wanted to share with you guys just how nice this stuff is and how, how good quality it is. Um, I didn't realize at the time that I asked Catherine to help me out with this that she had her own Etsy store and uh, let's just take a look at what it looks like. So first of all, look at how nicely this stuff is packaged and this is why I had to share this. Um, it just looks fantastic. We've got her card here, she gave me a little thank you with uh, a certain percentage off of her, her stuff. And look at this hand-drawn card. This is, I, I love this. It's got a little picture of camper and a little note for us, which uh, I thought was great. And I'm actually gonna frame this and put it in the, in the camper. I like this so much. So thank you for that, Catherine. And now here are the curtains. And look at how everything is wrapped up. I had this one out just to look at it, but I, I put it back. But all the sizes are written there. And everything is separated. She even made these little Velcro ties, which I wasn't expecting, which are quite nice. Here we have the curtains, and this is much better quality than I would have made myself. There's even like a, a liner on the inside of there, so I'm really excited to put those up. But I just wanted to show you guys how well this stuff was packaged and what good quality there is there. And I'll put a link, if I can, um, to Catherine Etsy shop, and uh, there'll be links everywhere to get to her channel so you can check out how these curtains were made and all the other stuff that she makes. And now let's install those curtains. Okay, so I've got those curtains installed now, and I have to say, it feels a lot cozier in here already. And I mentioned before, Catherine did an awesome job on these curtains, even despite my shitty measurements. I don't know what I did there, but I must have measured that window wrong, but it's covering, it looks nice, it's good enough for me, but it feels so much warmer in here. And Catherine, if you're watching this, I don't know what this fabric is that you put as a liner but I think I need some bed sheets made out of that. It's so soft and smooth. I really like it. 
So as I said, the sun's going down now, so I'm gonna call it a night. Um, I'm really happy, happy with how this camper's coming along. It's still a mess in here and uh, needs to clean up. I've got a couple more areas to finish up. I'm gonna put uh, a countertop there with like a flip top lid. Uh, I have to frame around the, uh, the air conditioner. I've got the little cubby under the fridge to finish up and then find a toilet, finish that bathroom. But I think in the current state, um, we're just about ready to uh, take this thing out. So I can't wait to uh, bring it on its trial run. And let's get started on the back countertop. Here I decided to put some hinges so that we can access the back storage area from inside the camper. And finally, I'm going to put a door on the storage space below the fridge. And now to put in the microwave. Well guys, the sun is setting on another day here. And if you look outside here, I've only got one corner left to wrap up. I just need to adjust the top a little bit and fix this back door and put the vent in, then the lights. Um, but so far I'm happy with where we are. It's been about uh, four or five weeks since the last video. So I figure it's about time that I upload uh, my most recent progress. So let's go take a look. So here we've got the bench in the upward position and the bed as well. I've got a few spots to touch up here. I added a little more reinforcement to the bed. I installed the microwave yesterday. So the fridge is there with that a little cupboard at the bottom. I also put a handle on that cupboard. I just had a little snack here making some b-roll uh, videos for Catherine's video and for my next video. The TV's there. So in the state it is in at the moment um, I'd say we're ready to go camping. Once I wrap up the next little bits I put up a couple little push lights because I don't I haven't done a whole lot of wiring and I don't want to do too much but these little guys will be good enough for our little trips for now I've got three there another one just up here you know, I'll move the camera around quickly but just give you an idea of what it looks like it's actually quite cozy up here so I'm gonna wrap this video up now um, if you guys like this video hit the thumbs up button if you haven't subscribed yet please do and as always, see you in the next one.